The Baker's Daughter is part memoir, part cookbook. It's about my family's tea shop, Peter's, where my father was the baker and my mother was the welcoming face. And I always feel that cakes trigger emotions for me and that the people that I knew as the customers were in fact like cakes as well. I knew, I knew them by the cakes that they liked. And um, I also in the book follow my grandparents who had a tea shop and my great grandparents who had a tea shop. And I go all the way back to Poschiava on the Swiss Italian village to find some pastry chef ancestors and more cakes. So it's a very involved cake story. <laughs> Um, and it's authentic, there's lots of nostalgia in there. Favourite classic cakes from the tea shop, really from 1958 to 2000, which is when my parents retired. It's very hard to pick a favourite recipe when you've grown up in a tea shop surrounded by cakes. Um, it would be like choosing a favourite child. For me, um, I'd like to choose two recipes. Um, one, the cream meringues. Um, these were my dad's signature cakes and when the tea shop closed in 2000 they were the cake that I think the local people mourned the most. They really missed those meringues and in the book I've recreated the recipe um, with my dad and I've included his tips. The other recipe I'd like to choose is animal biscuits which um, I used to help make when I was a little girl um, and now I know children love them, so it's a great recipe to have to enjoy making with children and share with friends and family. And they come in all different shapes and um, animals, so it's good fun. For me, the recipe that unlocks the most special memory is a coffee Japanese, which is a cake that my father told me he loved when he was a little boy, when he was growing up in his parents' tea shop and that everybody really enjoyed in our tea shop, Peter's. And when I went to Poschiavo, um, the village where our pastry chef ancestors are from, I found this coffee jap in a cafe and I was just amazed. And I took it all the way back to Weybridge where my parents were living at the time. And um, Dad then taught me how to make the recipe. Um, so it really has got special memories for me. My favourite sav savoury recipe is the Welsh rarebit. This is a cheesy mix and it was one of the most popular lunchtime treats for customers. And people used to say they couldn't get any Welsh rarebit that tasted like the ones that my dad made. Um, it's something that's really easy to make and even today, you know, whenever we make it, everybody always enjoys it. It's traditional, it's nostalgic and it's just tasty.